What is up guys, Adrian and TV here, and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're, we're going to be reviewing the camping episode from Spongebob Squarepants. One of the most classic episodes of all time, and today we're going to remember why it's a really good episode. So, let's get into it. The episode begins with Squidward getting ready to enjoy this weekend alone, as Spongebob and Patrick are out on a camping trip. I just want to point out that Squidward draws in the color of the two on this calendar. One reason the show is enjoyed is a, is a relationship between Spongebob and Squidward, and seeing him putting the extra step to color them in does reveal some sentimental value. But right before the wonderful night to himself, Squidward is alarmed by, of course, Spongebob and Patrick right outside his house. They are casually reading some comments until Squidward asks, what are they doing? Do they respond? They are just enjoying the outdoors to however their hearts desire. But then Squidward becomes so hostile and thinks that Spongebob is using reverse psychology to get him to join them. However, it was just him being completely innocent. And I don't feel it is even Spongebob nor Patrick's fault for Squidward to go camping with them. It is more of that Squidward's self-esteem against the fact that Spongebob is going to encourage him to go camping with him. Give Squidward the objective that he doesn't want to seem out of place or less interesting than them. But even so, Patrick and Spongebob are too naive to see this, thus Squidward joins them. Now, Squidward brings out some equipment to show that he knows the ins and outs of camping. This soon leads to be honestly enjoyable co uh, comedic part. And I give Spongebob all the praise they deserve. The comedy does not seem out of place and it works well with how the characters are established. Again, Squidward is attempting to be the king of the hill of all this, which will be a common theme as you will see shortly. And then Spongebob takes out some marshmallows for a late night camping snack for them. Then Squidward takes out some of, uh, let the, I'll let the audio play out. Marshmallows. I'm gonna have a can of Swedish barnacle ball. Yeah, that. For this late night snack. But realizes that he forgot his can opener and has to go inside for it. Soon, Spongebob quickly tells Squidward that it, it wouldn't be part of camping to go inside and get it himself. And being assertive by joining them for camping in the first place, he cannot look like he isn't superior to them by wussing out. Therefore, Squidward joins them for some marshmallows next to the campfire. As well as before, the comedy is perfect with this backlash between Squidward and Patrick while Patrick is spitting marshmallows onto him. But to lighten the mood, Spongebob suggests to sing a campfire song. I'm sure 95% of you have heard this song at least once in your life, so it would not be a review without it, so I'm gonna let it play out. Believe me, I would be dazed if I witnessed that too. And again, Swiver attempts to just be a step higher and shows off his chords on the clarinet. Eventually, this all transitions into one of the most obscure moments in this show, where Spongebob warns of a sea bear. Being more mature than Patrick and Spongebob, Squiver denies the existence of a sea bear. Spongebob and Patrick show news articles that they are real. Now, here, Squidward now suddenly believes this creature exists and now wants the qualities that lead up to be it being attracted. Unfortunately, Spongebob buys it and lists all the things that attract the sea bear. Now, some people think Squidward is just being downright interrupting their almost peaceful night, and I'll have to agree to this. He barges in unwelcomed, eats their food, and claims that their stories are just legends. As you will see, this leads to them being in danger. And Squidward quickly dresses up as everything that Spongebob and Patrick listed to attract the sea bear. With, Squidward, with Squidward's novelty of being optimistic about everything, he wants to prove that the sea bear are not real and wants them to grow up such as he. This ties into what I mentioned in the beginning. Squidward is just going into these extra steps just to suit that mainly Spongebob is doing. Whether or not Squidward truly cares about Spongebob and Patrick as people, he at least toys with them to convey the sense of enthusiasm of not being around to cause problems. But in the end, it is Squidward who is punished to causing the problem and getting tortured by the sea bear. Patrick and Spongebob were protected by what they knew of the sea bear and were safe. And it is Squidward's beating being caused by trying to outbest them that led to it. And that is the camping episode. Overall, this episode was good. I enjoyed most of the comedy bits. Nothing was overdone and the pace seemed to fit. Spongebob's relationship with Squidward is also established here. With all that I mentioned previously, Squidward's attentions of proving that they need to learn to grow up to not be as gullible as they are, and Squidward's extra steps into achieving these goals are what the key parts of this episode that build up to be an amazing episode. But what do you think? Does this episode build up to the popularity it is shown to be? Be sure to put your own thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll love to hear what you guys have to say. But that is going to do it for the review video. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.